In the last few lessons, we set up all the math that we needed in order to perform the calculations of our tip calculator. Unfortunately, when I put in some different numbers that are not just nice whole numbers to work with, my formatting is going to look kind of unusual for a dollar amount. For example, if I put in there $44.23 and I come down and click on the 10%, you're going to see that it will format it as 4.423, which doesn't look like a typical dollar amount. If I come down to other, it's going to get really crazy looking. For example, if I put in like 22%, you'll see that the number is definitely not formatted right for a dollar amount with all of the numbers past the decimal point. So what I want to do is create a decimal format object to work with on our code that will allow me to be able to format that number the way that I want. I'm going to use it in multiple methods. So I'm going to need to create this outside of any of the methods and create it up here at the class level. And I'll go ahead and create a new decimal format object. So I'm going to go ahead and type in decimal format. And we'll call this one currency. And I'm going to set it equal to a new decimal format. And then have the opening and closing parentheses. And then we're going to set up our format. I'm going to put in here double quotes to start. And I want it to have the dollar sign to start with. And I'm going to go ahead and use the pound signs, which will allow for formatting if the number gets to a certain size. I'll do a comma, do some more pound signs. And now I'm going to put the decimal point and two more pound signs. And I'll come to the end of the statement and I'll go ahead and put a semicolon. And let's go ahead and import the decimal format. Now with the format that I just had set up, you're going to see that the pound signs will format only if available, which means if my number, my tip amount, does not include a decimal point, it's not going to include these. I can change that by using zeros instead. And that'll force two spots to always be formatted in my number, regardless if there's any sense in this case or not. I'll go ahead and show you what I mean by that. Let's go ahead and use the pound sign for the two to begin with, and then we'll switch it over to just zeros. So let's go ahead and format this within our on radio group one click method. In the switch statement here, you can see I have the tip amount is, and then I've got this math calculation going on. We want to format the result of this math calculation. So what I'll do is right within the statement, I can go ahead and add currency dot, and this is our object that we have, the decimal format object, Let's go ahead and use format, and then I'll go ahead and have an opening parenthesis. And what I'll do is just take out the value and that closing parenthesis there, and then come to the very end here and put another closing parenthesis. So there'll be two closing parentheses here. And inside of this method, you're going to see the math calculation being performed. So we're going to format that math calculation, and that'll give us the format result that we set up for currency. I'm going to do the same thing for the next one. So let's go ahead down here and change the format. Currency dot format, an opening parenthesis, and I'll need to take out the value again and come to the end here, close that parenthesis, and do the same thing for the last one. Currency dot format, the opening parenthesis, I'll take out the value and come to the very end here and close out that parenthesis. Okay, we also have the other option which is up in here and the entire math calculation is here so all of that will need to be within the parentheses so we'll do currency dot format the opening parenthesis and come down to the end here put in the closing parenthesis and we've now applied our format so let's go ahead and see what this looks like with using pound signs as our last two digits of the decimal value. I'll go ahead and run the application and save my changes. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in a value here. I'm going to use just $22 this time as my bill amount without any decimal points here. I'll go ahead and click 10%. And you'll see here that I have $2.20 for my value. 
Notice that it doesn't have the trailing zero here. That's because our format, which you can see right here, is optional. Basically, if the number's not there, it will not show anything. If I come down to the other and type in, let's say, 21.56%. Now, if I open up the calculator, and I take 22 times 21.56, it equals, and then divide it by 100, the number ends up being 4.7432. So you'll see that the 3.2 is no longer here because we have formatted it to only be two positions past the decimal point as the maximum. I'll go ahead and close the calculator. Now let's go ahead and go back to our code and I'll show you what it means to have two zeros here instead. And I'll go ahead and rerun it and save it. Okay, and so now if we take a look at our calculator and I type in $22 and I click on the 10%, you'll see that it formats it as 2.20. So we've added now that last zero, regardless if that dollar amount shows up or not. All right, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and complete the tip calculator by adding a splash image rather than the text for our splash screen.